you know, you get, they're complicated and they get to do things that make the protagonist's lives difficult. And, you know, you have Misty being incredibly sensible and, you know, and then she would lose her temper sometimes. But uh, I love, I love how Jessie just was just so, you know, into her part. I think she was, she was playing a part. Sometimes I felt that it was a role within a role. Like Jesse and James were actually good-hearted people, but they wanted so much to belong that they wanted to blend in with Team Rocket. That was always my impression of them, that they were just both tender-hearted, loving people who had been hurt so much that um, they said, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna embrace this. So that was, I thought that was a really cool feeling kind of ha to have about a character. So that, yeah, that's why I like Jesse. Yeah. Like, I lean towards that, but I, I like them. I know it's like lame, but I did like them both very much. I, yeah. like, I like them so much. But as Rachel was saying, I, I never thought of Team Rocket as villains. They're not bad guys, you know? They just have a different sort of plan, and, um, but they're still good people, you know? But wouldn't you try to capture Pikachu? Yeah. yeah. Right? I think it just kind of sets them up for failure when you're going after after a protagonist. Yeah. And uh, they, they just kind of, they almost, it's like a punishment in the underworld or something in mythology. It's like they almost get there and it's like, oh, it's snatched away. And it's rep repeated over and over and it's like in different ways and they yeah. keep trying to figure it out. And it just, it's, it's never going to happen. But our own Pokemon just like <laughs> attack us. So like, what, you know, we need to find something else to use. I know attack me. It's like, they, come on. Uh, Maybe Pikachu wouldn't do that, right? Well, there you have the friendship bond as well. I mean, that's the same thing as the good guys, right? As we say, we're supposed to be the villains. Um, they, they're friends. I mean, I, I think as much as, you know, uh, maybe Jesse yells at James and, um, or we get scratched by Meowth, um, they stick up for each other. There are episodes that show that, you know, they, there, is a, there is a bond there. Um, you know, they just have a different path that they're taking. That doesn't mean that they're, they're that they're selfish and individuals. So, I think that they're very close friends. I could see, you know, when Jesse and James are not on duty, that they just like have dinner together and go see a movie. You know, <laughs> you know, with me off. Yeah, they're just you know. Yeah. Hanging out together. And yep. Going on, going on vacation or yeah. something, you know, it's like they're, they're cast members of the show, and then when the, the camera stops rolling, they, they say, hey, let's go get a burger, you know? yeah. But um, I, I, think, I think my favorite part of their dynamic is the fact that Jesse James and Meowth came from, are the most unlikely of friends, because James is from a very wealthy background, and Jesse's like, abandoned by her parents and lost soul, and Meowth kind of has a similar kind of lost background and they were all just very very lost in their own ways and they found each other and it just clicked for them and I th thought that that was just so nice because so much in so much in life you think what, you know you look at your best friend or, or something and you're like you know it's like wow we just met and we just clicked and I, I really enjoy that about them because it's just it seems like it just it just gets stronger over time that that was my impression from the show yeah okay what is your favorite Eevee evolution? Why is it always the Eevee evolution? 